Hey guys, if you're really looking for a cheap way to get into a good backup rod and line it with something that's a little less expensive than a, than a, a Commando Head or Skagit Scout or a, a, a Rio Trout Max, whatever they're called, those are really sweet lines. But if you want to go real cheap and real short, 10 foot Rio Skagit Mo Tip. They're 180 grains, the heavy ones are. And you can put a OPST micro floating tip on it. I've got the 10 footer on this one, but you could go with a seven foot sink tip, uh, T8, T7, T3, I see some of the guys are carrying now. Anyway, this Cortland Fair Play 8 foot graphite El Cheapo fly rod. You can get them at Walmart for 30 bucks. Not all Walmart. Oh, well, well, not all Walmart. <laughs> not all Walmarts have them. Uh, the one in my town does though. And for 30 bucks, you can have a good backup rod for your kids to use, or if you have guests that you take fishing, you don't want them to tear up your expensive sages and all those really nice rods you don't want just anybody handling. You can put this in the hands of a beginner or a kid and they're really sweet casting rod. I use mine, I use mine a lot. Anyway, it's a good expensive way to go. I'm going to put some links to the uh, to the Mo Tips where you, where I found them cheap on Amazon where I'm an affiliate. Try to hook you up there. Find these at Walmart. You can go go on my site for more information. But you just look them up on the web. And if you have a bigger Walmart where you live, you might luck out and find one. If not, they're a little more expensive if you hunt around on the web for them. So anyway, it's a good cheap fun way to go. Great for swinging little soft tackles and little woolly boogers for factory or factory or factory trout. For hatchery trout, it's a really fun way for to experience a tight line grab, to spay cast or skagit cast or scandy cast. This 10 foot floating heavy mo it's about 180 grains and i use it on my my like three weight six foot up to five six weight even even a little more on your short rods depending on if you want a heavier load or a you know more scandy fill you can use it on a probably a six weight rod and do just fine with it put a uh you know eight foot a seven foot of T3 or T8 on it maybe and swing for hatchery trout. It's really fun to get a tight line grab on even a little trout on an outfit this small and it's inexpensive. It's a good way to break into Skagit casting or if you want a poor man's commando setup, this is it. So anyway, good luck. Head to linespeedjedi.com and please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you kindly would. Uh, that would help me out. Anyway, tight lines.